Hello friends, welcome back to our video lecture series on course title Fluid Mechanics 2. In the previous lecture, we have discussed specific energy and specific energy curve. And uh, what is the specific energy? It is the addition of potential head plus kinetic head. And equation is given by E is equal to Y plus V square upon 2G. And how to plot that curve and how to use and what are the characteristics of that specific energy as well as that curve. So all that uh, discussion we have made in the previous lecture and uh, we are going to continue with the topic specific energy curve. And in this lecture we are going to discuss those critical parameters which are uh, going to occur at the minimum specific energy. That is critical depth, critical flow and critical velocity. So starting from the critical depth, uh, it is the depth of flow at which the specific energy is uh, minimum. And that depth is known as critical depth. So if we look at this uh, specific energy curve, which is represented by A H C G B. So this A C B curve going to represent the curve of specific energy and whatever the depth at which specific energy is minimum. So if you see here specific energy decreasing and decreasing and decreasing, we have plotted specific energy on X axis. So in this direction, it is decreasing. So it is curve is moving in this direction, it is decreasing and if curve is moving in this direction, it is increasing. So if you see here, it is goes on decreasing and this is the particular point where the specific energy has reached to its minimum value. And after that, it start to move on the rightward direction. So that's mean that it is increasing after that and whatever this point or whatever the depth at this point, depth of flow at this point, this depth of uh, depth is known as critical depth. So this will be my depth which is known as critical depth and which is generally represented by uh, HC. Now the mathematical expression for critical depth can be simply obtained by differentiating the specific energy equation with respect to depth of flow and equating it to the zero because we are computing minimum value. So we are differentiating it with uh, Y and equating it with the zero. So what we will get here? Uh, d upon dh uh, equation for the specific energy is given by h plus q square upon 2g h square and equating it with the zero by taking its derivative what we will get here so the derivative of h will be the one uh, derivative of one upon h square that will become minus two uh, h square h raised to three so here it is minus two h raised to minus two minus one so it will become minus three so this minus three can be written as h raised to 3 1 upon h raised to 3 so by putting that value here uh, derivative we will get 1 minus q square upon g h cube as we want to compute the value of h because we are com uh, computing this value of h at the minimum specific energy by equating uh, differentiating uh, that uh, minimum specific energy equation and equating it with the zero so take that h on one side we will get on the other side q square upon g raised to 1 by 3 so the cube root of Q square upon G is the uh, equation of the depth of flow at the minimum specific energy. But we know that at the minimum specific energy, whatever the depth of flow is known as critical depth. So I am going to replace that critical depth as HC. So our equation for the critical depth will be equal to Q square upon cube root of Q square, is Q square upon G. So this is our equation of the critical depth. Remember that critical depth is the depth of flow at the minimum specific energy. Now next critical velocity. So simply the velocity of flow at the critical depth is known as critical velocity. It is the velocity of flow which is going to occur at the critical depth. So if the uh, depth of flow, uh, flow is the critical depth in the channel, then what are the velocity of the flow is known as critical velocity, which is represented by the VC. Now, again, we are going to derive a simple equation for the uh, VC. So as we know, Q is equal to capital Q divided by B, where Q is the area multiplied by velocity. What is the area? B multiplied by H. So this B, B will get cancelled. So what I am getting here, small Q is equal to small H multiplied by B. So if I am considering the critical parameter, so I am just simply writing it as HC multiplied by VC. Now we know that HC simply we have derived just now. HC is equal to cube root of Q square upon G. So just taking cube root on both sides. So here it will be HC cube is equal to Q square upon G. So I can write down Q square is equal to G H C cube. Now simply I can take the uh, square root on both sides. So I will get Q is equal to under root of G H C cube. Simply by putting this value in this equation where Q is equal to HC multiplied by VC. I'm just going to uh, put that value here. So uh, under root of G H C cube is equal to 
HC multiplied by VC. So 1H, 1H will get cancelled. So whatever the square is remaining, so just take square on both sides. What I am, get, I am getting here, um, GC, GSC is equal to V square and simply I will get the equation for the critical velocity or relationship of the relationship for the critical velocity is equal to under root of GH. C. So this is our equation for the critical velocity. Remember that equation for the critical depth. It is the depth of flow which is occurring at the minimum specific energy, which is given by SC is equal to Q square upon G raised to 1 by 3. Again, uh, critical velocity is given by under root of G multiplied by critical depth that is HC. Now next, minimum specific energy in terms of critical depth. We can calculate the minimum specific energy in terms of critical depth. So we know that. Uh, our energy will be minimum specific energy will be minimum when depth is critical so just replacing e with the e minimum and h with the hc where v we have just calculated v square uh, is the v is equal to under root of ghc so just put the value of v here so this square square will get cancelled square and square root will get cancelled so it will be hc plus uh, this gg will get cancelled hc plus h by 2 so it is 2 multiplied by hc plus 1 3 3 by 2 so 3 hc by 2 so this will be my equation of the minimum specific energy in terms of critical depth what is minimum specific energy the depth uh, the specific energy with, refer with reference to the critical depth is known as minimum specific energy now next one critical flow so uh, critical flow is that flow which is going to occur when specific energy is minimum so whenever our specific energy is minimum all the parameter related to that specific energy or that minimum specific energy is uh, uh, refer uh, is referred as critical now flow corresponding to the critical depth is also known as critical flow so whatever the flow occurring at the critical depth is also known as critical flow now we know that uh, critical velocity is given by vc is equal to under root of ghc now, uh, if I take it on uh, left hand side, so it, it is going to give me the equation Vc divided by under root of Gsc is equal to 1 and this is the equation Vc upon Gsc, the equation of Froude number. So, uh, it is the Froude number which is the ratio of inertia force to viscous force and is given by uh, velocity of the flow divided by under root of g multiplied by depth of flow where depth of flow is h here in that case so whatever my uh, this whole equation is the proud number and its value is 1 so it is indicating that for the critical flow proud number should be equal to 1 and when there will be a critical flow when there will be a critical depth so for the critical depth proud number should be 1 for the minimum specific energy proud number should be 1 for critical velocity fraud number should be 1 and again for the critical flow fraud number should be 1 so all those parameters will are uh, connected with each other so uh, remember those formulas which are we are generally using while deriving the uh, uh, while uh, solving some numericals or while uh, deriving the derivation or different conditions so this is the condition for the critical flow fraud number should be 1 now uh, this uh, by using this condition we can classify the flow as the first one the subcritical flow this is the flow when uh, uh, fraud number is uh, less than 1 and depth of flow is uh, greater than critical depth so if my depth of flow is greater than the critical depth in that case uh, whatever the fraud number will be less than 1 and flow is said to be a subcritical flow or streaming flow, flow or tranquil flow. When this flow uh, is going to occur, when my depth of flow is greater than critical depth, so that is nothing but my H2. So at H2, whatever the flow is known as subcritical flow. So if I am going to draw a line dividing this critical depth in upper and lower portion, so whatever this upper portion the flow which is going to occur in the upper portion with reference to any depth is known as subcritical flow now supercritical flow supercritical flow is that flow when my depth of flow is less than the critical depth in the channel if my depth of flow is less than critical depth in that case whatever the flow is going to occur that is known as supercritical flow so whatever the depth uh, occur lower than the critical depth is known as uh, whatever the flow with reference to that depth is known as critical 
sorry, super critical flow. So in case of super critical flow, value of round number will be greater than one, and that T S two will be the super critical. Will be referred as super critical. In case of super critical, velocity of the uh, flow is very high. And if the velocity is very high, obviously energy uh, contained by that supercritical flow is also high, and that energy is need to be, uh, that energy needs to be dissipated to avoid any uh, further losses. So this is the simple numerical we are going to solve here, uh, which is based on whatever the formula we have just derived. So the first, uh, it is given that the discharge of flow, uh, discharge of water through a rectangular channel having width eight meter, is 15 is 15 meter cube per second, and when depth of flow is 1.2 meter, then calculate specific energy of flowing water, critical depth, critical velocity, and minimum specific energy, and Froude number and nature of flow. What kind of nature of flow? Whether it is critical, subcritical, or supercritical. So the first and foremost thing. Just write down given data and just sum up what they are asked to calculate. What they are asked to calculate? The first thing they are asked to calculate specific energy of flowing water. Now, what is our equation of specific energy? That is given by h plus v square upon 2g. Whether they are given v square, whether they are given velocity, whether they are given depth of flow. Yes, they are given depth of flow as 1.2 meter, and they are given discharge. By using this discharge value, we can compute the velocity. That is q divided by a. So here we have computed first velocity. Here we have computed velocity as 1.5625 uh, meter per second. The next thing, uh, by computing velocity, just by putting the simply value of this h uh, and v in this equation, we will get the specific energy, which is coming out as 1.324 meter. By using this equation, e is equal to h plus v square upon 2g. Now the next thing they are asked to calculate is critical depth, critical uh, velocity, and minimum specific energy. So for calculating this, first we will go one by one. First, critical depth. We know that equation of critical depth is given by q square upon g raised to one by three. The first thing we need to calculate q square. So just we have calculated q square here. Q square is the capital Q divided by B, where capital Q is the 15 and B is the 8. So our Q is coming as 1.875 meter cube per second per meter because we are dividing our meter cube per second discharge with the width. So its unit will be meter cube per second per meter or per unit width. Now by putting that value here in the value equation of uh, critical depth, which is coming as uh, uh, Which is coming as 0.71 meter. Again, critical velocity, which is given by the equation v c is equal to under root of g h c. Just put the value in g is equal to 9.81 and h c is equal to 0.71. I will get the value of uh, critical velocity as 2.64 meter per second. Now, next one, minimum specific energy in terms of uh, critical depth, we can simply calculate it as uh, 3 h c divided by 2. The same uh, minimum specific energy you can compute by using equation h plus v square upon 2g by putting value of uh, v c and h c in that equation. So this is also evident from the fact that uh, h will be uh, greater than h c and h by h c will always greater than one for the critical depth. So here it is our uh, depth of flow is greater than critical depth. So if you see here our depth of flow is 1.2 meter and critical depth is coming at 0.71 meter. So our depth of uh, critical depth always be less than the uh, normal depth and whatever the ratio of h upon h c will always be greater than one. And the last one they asked to calculate compute the Froude number and nature of flow. So what is nature of flow? We are going to compute here. The first thing compute Froude number, which is coming out as 0.455. Now it is it is less than one. So what does it mean that it is less than one? That means that flow is subcritical or tranquil flow. So flow is in tranquil state or subcritical state. If it is greater than one, if it has greater than one. Then in that case, flow is said to be super critical flow. Hope you understood those derivation, those formulas, and this numerical. Uh, those are the references which I have used during the preparation of this presentation. Thank you for watching.